Did you, uh, there, there's an interesting article in uh, this month's issue of New York Magazine about legends of New York City, and the one, of course, is about the uh, alligators in the sewer. And uh, that's, that's not true. In fact, none of the legends are true, but they're really entertaining. And the other one that I thought was really good uh, is the famous legend about the subway car that's clean. And uh, it's, gonna, it's uh, exciting, wonderful stuff. Let me, uh, oh, let me tell you who's on the, uh, the program here tonight. We have a good show tonight uh, from Monty Python here to talk about his new motion picture and other things, Mr. Michael Palin. Will we join us? And a uh, musician, not only a musician, a fine musician and a talented producer, Mr. Nick Lowe, is here tonight. And, uh, oh, Academy Award nominee, Terry Garr, is here this evening. And uh, please, ladies and gentlemen, everybody's buzzing about the extra security here in the studio tonight. And uh, now you know why. Mr. Fixit is here. <laughs> All right, no, stay seated. Please stay, stay in your seats, for heaven's sakes. Give us a break. Uh, and who else? Oh, I'm telling you, this is the kind of thing that makes me proud to be a part of American broadcasting, or as close as I'll ever get. Uh, <laughs> to, tonight, tonight on this very program, ladies and gentlemen, we will be destroying things with a steamroller. It's, uh, it's exciting. You can, uh, in your living rooms, you can sense the electricity, can't you? Yes. You're probably sitting too close to the socket then. No, <laughs> stupid joke. Now, say hello to, uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Paul Schaefer and the party boys of rock and roll. Thank you so much. Do I have time? Quick impersonation, David. A quick yes, impersonation. Sir. Cher. This is Cher doing Oh Holy Night on her Christmas special. Cher doing Oh Holy Night on her Christmas Five special. <laughs> Paul Schaefer. And he went like this. Oh, holy night. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> Boy, that was, that was nice, wasn't it? Um... We got a good show for you tonight. What is tonight, Paul? It's Monday. What's the date? Uh, coming up on Christmas time, USA. <laughs> it's uh, like having a chronometer here in the studio. Uh, yeah, but what's the date, Bill? Do you know the date? The 19th of December. Yes, sir. We're breathing right down on the holidays in a fine show we've slapped together for you tonight. Mary Lou Henner is going to be here. We have uh, a woman who has been on this program how many times? Three, four? Twelve. <laughs> Gloria Parker is... <laughs> Gloria uh, is going to uh, favor us with a holiday uh, number she plays. Do you know what she plays? Did you tell them this, Bill? <laughs> she plays musical glasses, and uh, she will be out here. Uh, and did you leave anything for me to talk about her? <laughs> Uh, how about the guy who wrote the book, Matthew Lesko? Do you know about him? Yeah. Okay, this man, uh, he's been on the show once before, written a fascinating book about, uh, infor uh, the name of the book is Information USA, and tonight he's going to tell you how you can get free stuff for the holidays. Yeah. Wow. Uh, also, we're going to take a look at some store-bought Christmas decorations, uh, and now... Ladies and gentlemen, here's... Wait a minute. Before you say hello to him, I, I must say this about uh, Paul. We have literally watched him grow up before our eyes on television. <laughs> Paul Schaefer, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, David. Thank you very much. Isn't that nice? You know what? Uh, it is the Christmas season, and in honor of it, I'd like if I could just take a little time. Now, this is very sweet. You prepared a little something... A little something, To yeah. salute the Christmas season. Yes, I did. That's great, Paul. Go I right want to ahead. take you back about 15 years ago to Cher's Christmas special. <laughs> 15 years ago this time. <laughs> which, uh, she had a lot of fun with some guests. I think William Conrad was on the show. Uh -huh. But at the end of the show, she did a very serious version of Oh Holy Night. you got to imagine her. She's... Uh, like on a stage, it's lit beautifully under kind of a lamp post wearing an old overcoat and snow is falling. Let me introduce you. And the music starts to play. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Paul Schaefer now doing his impression of Cher <laughs> singing Oh Holy Night. Paul? Beautiful overcoat, wind, snow is falling. Oh, holy night. Your eyes so brightly shiny on. You know, that was sort of it. was. And that's the way it was 15 years ago. 15 years ago. Don't you believe, though, if Cher is going to be a serious actress, she needs a last name? <laughs> For example, Ben Kingsley. Two, yeah, names. two names. They don't call him Ben. <laughs> Gandhi with Ben. They don't have it like that, do they? That's true. A lot of serious actors have, have one name. Richard Roundtree? <laughs> two. That's two. How about this nutty band, too? Isn't this some kind of a nutty band? You have a I nutty mean, band, Paul. Thank you very much. It is nutty, isn't it? Paul, now, you know, it's the holiday season. I want to make a mention of this. We haven't mentioned it in the last couple of weeks. Tomorrow <laughs> is our big Christmas extravaganza. It sure is. That will be tomorrow. What's the date tomorrow? It'll be one more than what it is today. That'll be the 19th of Boy, December. Boy, have we been That's... screwing around and doing our, making our preparations. A lot of extra work. Now, Paul, I know at this time of year, you have a little something that's sort of traditional that you like to do to share with folks for the holidays. And, and it's an impression. Tell them what it is and then get right to it, and I think we'll all enjoy it. Well, around this time of year, I'm reminded of uh, Cher, Christmas special about 15 years ago, when she had her own show. And she sang at the end of the show, very serious, and it was a beautiful scene, Oh Holy Night. Uh -huh. Snow falling on her, she's under a street lamp, and it was, we've had a lot of fun, but now it's time to get serious, and it sounded something like this, Cher doing Oh Holy Night. The piano is just <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Oh Holy Night, the light so brightly shiny on, get it on. You know, that was a... Uh, <laughs> I heard today that GE originally owned RCA. We, we don't care. We don't want to be taken over by GE. What are I, these knuckleheads going to do when they get in here? Well, they're going to just, you know. No, they won't. Look, this is the way I look at it. They're wimps, all right? Listen to this. RCA brought you compatible color television. The first network to broadcast in color was NBC. RCA also brought you the video disc. All right, we'll let them have it. <laughs> Uh, they developed stereo TV. You know what, what GE developed? The toaster oven. Oh, you like that? Oh. Uh, here's our good friend, uh, Paul Schaefer. Paul, say hello to the folks. Washers and dryers. Thanks so much. Thanks a lot, everybody. Well, you know, there's some bad things, but there's some good things. It's the holiday season. It is the holiday season. You know how thrilled I get around the holidays. You enjoy the holidays. I hate the holidays. Can't stand them. Are you going to do your, uh, your uh, singing tribute for the holidays again? Every year I do. Should I do it? All right, let's do it now. Well, every year I kind of get a little bit nostalgic and reminisce, and I reminisce a little bit about Cher's Christmas special of about uh -huh. 15 years ago. When at the end of a whole hour worth of comedy and nuttiness, she decided to go straight at the end and sing Oh Holy Night very reverently and almost religiously. An annual tradition for us, yeah, Paul Schaefer, I always bring it back as Cher doing Oh Holy Night. And it was a very beautiful scene, and the snow was falling, mm -hmm. and, and the piano was playing ding, 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 ding. And she Cher stopped. singing Oh Holy Night. Oh Holy Night. Thank you. Thank the you so much. The stars so brightly shining on. <laughs> That's just kind of, you know. That's what the holidays mean to me. Thank you. Thanks a lot. <laughs> what do we got there? Oh, great. Boy, look at this show. Uh, this is one of those shows you say to yourself, I must be in the wrong studio. <laughs> it's, uh, we have here uh, bail bondsman Joey Barnum. That explains why we had to tighten up the security tonight, because <laughs> bail bondsman mania could break out just like that. 
And also on the program, now we've, we've wanted to have this woman on the show for four years. How many times have we asked her? How many separate communications have we launched from our office to her? At least 81. We've, we've asked her to be on the show 81 times. And finally, apparently through a lapse of judgment. <laughs> anyway, she's here tonight. And of course, uh, I'm talking about Cher. Paul Schaefer. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hot crowd tonight. Of course, what? I do share. Yeah, I know. You know. But don't, don't do it right now. It, it, might, it, it might be fun when she comes out. Maybe you could do it for her then. I usually do it around the holidays. Do it around the holidays. It's Cher singing Oh Holy Night. Oh Holy it? Night, yeah. Let's we'll see what happens. And don't think we don't appreciate it, too, Paul. Uh, well, we got a lot of stuff to do. Let's get uh, right to it. Anything you want to say before we go, Paul? Uh, just that I'm up for the show. Uh, I'm feeling good. I'm, I'm uh, back at my show weight now. and uh... <laughs> Back at your show weight. Okay. Uh... <laughs> now, say hello to our good friend, Paul Schaefer. Paul Schaefer. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm marvelous. You know, around this time of year, I get into the mood to do... Are you all right? Yeah, I'm just checking something. Uh, go, has go the right glass ahead. been replaced? Go right ahead. I don't know. There's something missing there. Go right ahead. Is the glass all right over there? Uh, the well, same. part of it is, part of it's not. That's all right. Go There's ahead. Some blank paint. I just was going to say that I get into that mood of, of, of doing my sh impersonation of shared. Oh, this oh, is the perfect night. night. Let, me, let me set this up for you. Would you? This has become, for us here at Late Night, <clears throat> excuse me, a, a holiday favorite and almost now a tradition. Thank you. It's a neo tradition. Ladies and gentlemen, now Paul Schaefer doing his impression of Cher singing Oh Holy Night. Paul? Thank you. And I've added music to it this year. Oh, great. We need some lighting for this, too. Let's bring the lights down. Yeah, can we have the lights very, down just a little bit for this? This inspired by her television special of about 15 years ago. Yeah, it right. was at the end. It was a very serious yeah. moment, and it was a kind of a, a dark lighting effect, and it went something like this. Oh, Holy Night. <laughs> That's so brightly nice. shiny nice nice on you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you so much. And thank God for that special lighting. Because it's a, <laughs> it's a neo tradition. Is that what you said? I said a neo tradition, a but neo I'm in one of those uh, frames of mind where I, my mouth is running, but I have no idea what I'm saying. I see. All right, let's try it some is of these a neo tradition. magic Christmas pencils, ladies okay. and gentlemen. Oh. One more? All right. This is a holiday crowd, isn't it? Yeah. Now I feel like an entertainer. I feel like a geek is what I feel like. December 19th, 1983, Paul Schaefer does his imitation of Cher singing A Christmas Carol. Oh, holy night, the light's so brightly shining on. The next year, he does it again. Oh, holy night, the light's so brightly shining on. Since then, it's become a beloved holiday classic. Oh, holy night. And now, coming this December 21st, the magic continues. Oh, hi. I'm Paul Schaefer. I've been preparing extra hard to make sure that this year's imitation of Cher singing Oh Holy Night is the best yet. Christmas wouldn't be Christmas without Paul Schaefer imitating Cher singing Oh Holy Night, Clive Barnes. Paul Schaefer's rendition of Oh Holy Night makes for a very Sherry Christmas, Gene Shannon. Paul Schaefer's imitation of Cher singing Oh Holy Night is Oh Great Entertainment. You'll love it, Joel Siegel. Catch all the action December 21st. Don't miss it. I'm looking forward to that, Paul. When is that? Pardon? When is that? When will you be doing that? When will I be doing that? Next week sometime? Well, sometime uh, during the Christmas week. We'll yeah, certainly we'll... look forward to it. Thank you very much. Uh, later in the program tonight, Sean Young will be joining us, and uh, four-time sheep-shearing champ Charlie Swaim no. will be here.
December 19th, 1983, Paul Schaefer does his imitation of Cher singing A Christmas Carol. Oh, holy night. <laughs> The next year, he does it again. Oh, holy night. <laughs> so Very nice. Very nice. Since then, it's become a beloved holiday classic. Oh, holy night. <laughs> and now, coming this December 21st, the magic continues. Oh, hi. I'm Paul Schaefer. I've been preparing extra hard to make sure that this year's imitation of Cher singing Oh Holy Night is the best yet. Christmas wouldn't be Christmas without Paul Schaefer imitating Cher singing Oh Holy Night, Clive Barnes. <laughs> Paul Schaefer's rendition of Oh Holy Night makes for a very Sherry Christmas, Gene Shalit. <laughs> Paul Schaefer's imitation of Cher singing Oh Holy Night is Oh Great Entertainment, You'll Love It, Joel Siegel. Catch all the action December 21st. Don't miss it. The 21st. That's tomorrow, as a matter of fact. I gotta say, the network has been giving me a lot, a lot of yeah, on-air really promotion time. Yeah, it's well, they're really, really behind this. So it's that'll be, really, is that tomorrow night or the following night? It's tomorrow night, I believe. So tonight is the 19th? Yeah. Tomorrow the 20th, so that would make it Thursday night? It must we be can Thursday night, yeah. 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 Um, oh, today's the 20th. Today's the 20th? So yes. it's tomorrow. So it is tomorrow, the big night, yeah. Okay, We're great. Well, we'll look forward it. to that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, supermodel. Yes. Is this applicable in this case? I believe so. Yeah, yes, Lauren, yes. Lauren Hutton is here tonight. Now, over there in the corner. <laughs> Thank you very much. You know, uh, I was a supermodel at one time in my earlier years is that right? before I became an actor. Tonight, yes. uh, tonight is, I didn't mean to interrupt here, no, but, that's but right. I felt you were going nowhere. I had absolutely nowhere to go with it. <laughs> uh, tonight is a... That's the genius of the way we work together, the relationship, the almost unspoken timing. That's right. But tonight is a very special right. night because in a few minutes, Paul does something that really has become a, a Christmas tradition, and we'll talk to you in a second about that, uh, uh, and we'll look forward to that. You all set? Are you excited? Uh, I'm a little, I'm yeah. very excited about it and a little bit nervous. Does it seem to you that I'm squinting a little more than usual? As a matter of fact, I noticed that. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what the deal is. My eyes are really fatigued. I just bought a, a new television set. Yeah. So it's giant jumbo TV. In oh, fact, yeah. that's the brand name. It's a jumbo. Jumbo. <laughs> And, what kind uh, of a warranty comes with that, Jumbo? It did a what? What kind of a warranty comes with that? Jumbo? I think, I don't know, the standard Jumbo warranty. I see. Uh, and so I don't have any place to put it, so I thought, I want to watch. Of course, you have your new TV. You want to watch your TV, don't you? I would say Absolutely so. Absolutely, yeah. you do. So I put it on the floor at the end of where my bed is. I guess that would be the bedroom. So now the other night, I thought I'd go home and heat up the Jumbo TV and watch it in bed and maybe see Monday Night Football or something. So when you're in bed... Let me know when you're bored, silly. <laughs> so, when, <laughs> so when you're in bed watching the jumbo TV because of the angle of the bed and the placement of the television, you only see like the top one inch of the, of the picture. There, this is it exactly. <laughs> so ever since Monday, this is, this is, I'll just leave it up for the rest of the show and let, <laughs> let people experience the living hell that is my life. You see, that would be that top little thing here, right there. That would be the end of my bed. Yeah, right. And I'm peering over, and this is all I see up in there. Yeah. Terrible. <laughs> Are you ready? So is this going to be it? No. What the hell is that? <laughs> the control room is empty. Back of the That's a bad sign. That means a gas leak, usually. <laughs> um, tonight is the night. How many years have you been doing this, Paul? The... Uh, the annual Christmas uh, share impersonation. That's right. Well, I think I've done it every year that we've been on the air. That's right. It is a legitimate Christmas tradition it has here. Become a, it has become a Christmas tradition, and this year it was heavily people promoted. People came on a really good night. That's right. The network coughed up some money to heavily put together Heavily promoted, promos. and uh, yeah, and I'm excited about it. And uh, so I guess... Uh, Go ahead. Let me, if I may, set it up. Please do. Uh, it was her All Christmas paper. special. I must have been 10, 15 years ago now. They'd had a lot of fun. William Conrad was on doing nutty, cut-up Christmas things, and now it was time for <laughs> Cher to get serious and sing her perfectly serious rendition of Oh Holy Night. Sit, if you would. And it's very soft. Mm -hmm. 
and it and it's sort of a mood lighting thing oh, takes place. Oh my goodness! <laughs> this is really but produced this yes, year, but Paul. Yes, but it's well, we've gotten a little, a couple extra dollars for production. Yeah. Mirror ball, as you yeah. can see, mirror ball up there. Okay, so it's very, very serious. And Cher is under, I believe she's under a street lamp. And the snow is, <laughs> is falling down around her. And she has a muff. Uh-huh. <laughs> hey! Hey! You, you, you know what I mean. No, you know what I mean. You're ruining the Christmas tradition. You know what I mean. She has, what is the matter with you? She has a Victorian overcoat and a fur okay. muff over her hands okay. to keep them are you sure she wasn't wearing gloves? No, no. I remember what it was. I'm not going to repeat what it was because right. it's a serious, serious moment. Okay. And she begins to sing. Ooh, holy night, the last over at the shower near the hills. And, and that's that was pretty much nice it. Oh, I'm not crazy. Thank you very much. David. You know, Paul, it just gets better and better. Thank you. I don't think I've ever seen you so visibly moved in previous years. Well, it, it was that inclusion of the muff. I, <laughs> I see. Uh, let's do our uh, top ten list tonight. We have a, a great category for you tonight. Top ten circus family holiday traditions. Top ten circus family holiday traditions. president of the company got sort of drunk and he stands up at the podium and for 20 minutes he was tapping on a salami saying is this thing on <laughs> close enough it was you know it was hey you know it was pretty damn close hi how are you uh, on the program tonight we have buck henry joe cocker and oh, And also, we're going to do some dry cleaning, all right? We're going to do some dry cleaning. Ladies and gentlemen, here's our friend Paul Schaefer. Antoine, well, nice thank you very much. Happy holidays. Thank you. Hi, what's going on? Dave. Here? What? Oh, I'm sorry. Over I, here. I thought I was finished for the evening. I'm, no, no, we got to do it. I'm thrilled about the show tonight because I have a little spot. I spilled oh, a little tonight? something on my on Oh, my that's shirt. right. So we'll get that dry cleaned out. Can we take that taken care of? Yeah, but in, in addition to that, you have a little spot of entertainment here, too. Well, a traditional thing. It's an eight-year tradition that's with right. me now. And I almost forgot about it this year. I'm glad you mentioned it. Every year, Paul does a little something for the holidays. And it's, it's moving, it's touching, it's entertaining. And do you want to tell them what it is? Yeah, this is my impersonation. Right. I, I do it every year. This. Impersonation of Cher. From her. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Some yes. fans of this. Thank you very much. Thank you for remembering. Cher from her Christmas special of about 15 years ago now. <laughs> singing Oh Holy Night. Was it Cher by herself or with Sonny on it the It was special? the Cher show. The Remember Cher show. Had Christmas her own show? special. All this right. would have been about 74, 75. Uh -huh. And this would have been the featured number in this the show. This was at the end of a That's whole right. long show. A lot of clowning and entertaining. Yeah. We've uh -huh. had a lot of laughs. Uh -huh. I think William Conrad was the guest. And uh -huh. boy, they cut up and had a <laughs> gas of a time. But now it was time, time to, to get, get serious. serious. Here we go. Paul Schaefer. A holiday tradition. And this tradition. is what you heard. It was very beautiful. She was wearing, a, I think, a Victorian overcoat. Snow is falling, uh -huh. and she sings. Oh, holy night, that's so brightly shining on, and that's sort of the way it is. Very nice. Thank you, Dad. Thank you, Dad. I don't... I don't want to embarrass you, but that gets better and better every year. Thank you. Thank you. I, uh... And I've did I mention the Christmas parties? Today is the uh, General Electric Executive Christmas Party. Hal?
That Dolly Parton certainly is something, isn't she? She is yeah. really a bundle of energy and yeah. fabulousness and wonderfulness. To, to Frank, may uh -oh. the wind always be at your back. <laughs> may the sun always shine on your... I have to do a little farewell toast for I Frank no Gannon, and I'm trying to put it together here tonight. I know you're only kidding. You know, it's interesting that. that his farewell party coincides with our Christmas party tonight. I know that you're so only... So it's only one catering job, so that worked out good. Luckily, you're only <laughs> kidding about this. Uh, I know how much you love all uh, your stuff. On the uh, program tomorrow... Hal, turn on that external camera just for the hell of it, will you? Yeah. This is Manhattan, Paul, in the heart of the holidays. Look at that, people coming and going. What are they selling down there? What is that? They're not supposed to be there. Move in there. Let's close this guy down. Excuse me, sir. Can I see a permit? You have a permit, sir? Hey, you. You got a permit? You got a pretzel permit? Hey. Yes, yes, yes. Where, where, where do you guys put those carts at night? Pretzels. It's what? Yes. Okay. Pretzel, pretzel, hey, sir. you're Mr. Christmas. There you Thanks, go. Sir. Merry Christmas, sir. Excuse me, sir. Pardon me. One more time. You heard, you heard Frank Gannon is leaving. Next, yeah. next. We have an opening. Would you like to come up? <laughs> All right. Uh, tomorrow on the big telecast, Tom Brokaw will be here. Tom's very good. Uh, NBC News, Tom. Mm -hmm. yeah. the best. Uh, Penelope Ann Miller. And also, are you going to do your little uh, annual Christmas? Of course Christmas? I will. It's a, it's a tradition around here. You know, I saw a promo for this earlier today on NBC. Are they showing that on yeah, NBC? Yeah, Hal, roll that promo of what uh, Paul really has cool. uh, planned for us tomorrow night. December 19th, 1983, Paul Schaefer does his imitation of Cher singing A Christmas Carol. Oh, holy night, the light so brightly shiny on. The next year, he does it again. Oh, holy night, the light so brightly shiny on. Since then, it's become a beloved holiday classic. Oh, holy night. And now, coming this December 21st, the magic continues. Oh, hi. I'm Paul Schaefer. I've been preparing extra hard to make sure that this year's imitation of Cher singing Oh Holy Night is the best yet. Christmas wouldn't be Christmas without Paul Schaefer imitating Cher singing Oh Holy Night. Clive Barnes. <laughs> Paul Schaefer's rendition of Oh Holy Night makes for a very Sherry Christmas. Gene Shalit. Paul Schaefer's imitation of Cher singing Oh Holy Night is Oh Great Entertainment. You'll love it. Joel Siegel. Catch all the action December 21st. Don't miss it. All right, that's what I've got to be tomorrow, right? That's tomorrow. Okay, right here on this network. All right. Can, I, can we just, just turn? Let me see the pretzel guy one more time. Is he still down there? Is the pretzel guy there? Oh, he's going. Hey. Oh, man. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. I guess I may have scared him off with that little permit joke. Uh, there goes. You know, I was going to buy all his pretzels and then give them to the crowd. That would have been yeah. nice. Well, see if somebody can't down there can't run it. Hey, pretzel man! Hey, I'll take... Oh, he can't hear me. Well, try and do that. Morty, you think you could arrange that? Working on it now. Uh, oh, he's working on it now. <laughs> That's what Morty talks to on the phone, is the pretzel guy. At last, <laughs> we know who he's got there. Oh, we have to do a commercial. We'll be right back with Julia Child. Sports today, my uh, my old team, the Indiana Pacers, they fired their head coach, uh, Dick Versace. Versace, is that it? Versace? Dick Versace. They fired him, replaced him with Edward Shevard Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, let's get a little serious if we can. Uh, President Bush, the other day, uh, talking to somebody, he said, look, if there is a war, God forbid that there's a war, and we have to go in there, this country, the United States, speaking now of Saddam Hussein, they said, we will kick his ass. And, and reporters were kind of stunned, kind of taken aback by this, and they said, well, President Bush, uh, how, how come the situation has gotten so much worse? And President Bush says, hey, happens. <laughs> there you go, a little... Thank you. Thank you, Ronald. <laughs> <The little, laughs> hey, hey, a little something for the kids on the holidays, you know? <laughs> And they're home for school, Paul. We put in a little something yeah, for the kids. Yes, yes, yes. 
Uh, you know, what do you think? Is this going to be a good program? Hey, David Sandberg is back there. Hey, Dave, nice to see you. How are you? What? David Sanborn. Yeah, yeah, I know. Of course it is. Okay. Uh, also on the uh, program tonight from MTV, Mario Joyner is with yeah. us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, all right. Okay, we'll see. Sure, we'll play along. We, we don't get the MTV, but sure, whatever it is. Uh, Penelope Ann Miller is here. She's a very, very successful, very talented, very gifted, very popular movie star. Hey, oh, and uh, lovely, like I didn't say lovely? Uh, films that she has recently been in. The Freshman. The Freshman. Awakenings. Awakenings. Kindergarten Cop. Kindergarten College. Cop. Cop. Kinder <laughs> you know, Kindergarten College was the name of a kid show at my local station back there in Indianapolis, Indiana. That's why I said that. You see? Yeah, the, the mind is like a computer. It's fascinating. Did you host it? Yeah. No, I didn't host it. Oh. Here, boys and girls, enjoy this cartoon. No, I didn't. <laughs> that ain't a bad idea. Let's get some cartoons, Morty. A little something for the kids. They're home from school. Yeah. Huh? Now, that's, to me, that seems like plenty of show. That seems like a, a show that's full to bursting at the seams with entertainment, solid American television entertainment. The cost to you, the home viewers, zero. <laughs> In addition to these fine guests, we've also added Mr. News, Tom Brokaw. Come over our friend Paul. He's right over here. Hey, boys. Hey, boys. Hey, gentlemen. Nice to see you. Merry Christmas to you. Merry, Merry Christmas to you as well. And yours. Thank you very Christmas much. To you and yours. Yeah, and yours. Did you have Thank a nice you. time at the big party last night? Oh, we had a lovely time. Hey, you know that reminds me. Tonight is the night, right? Mm? You're going to do your little special Christmas thing. Oh, the tradition. The annual Christmas tradition. tradition. Okay, let, let me say one thing, and then I'll introduce you during okay, your little annual. Fabulous. Okay, fabulous. Okay. Last night I'm leaving the party. I'm in a cab. And the cab was making a noise. Whenever we would stop, there would be the, the car would stop. Then there would be that little dip as the thing settles, as the weight shifts, as yeah, the car stops. Right. And then there would be this kind of wank noise. <laughs> a real heavy metal-on-metal metal kind of wank. Yeah. This went on for like nine or ten blocks, and I finally, I said to the guy, just sort of joking, I'm, I'm assuming now that the suspension will, will collapse from that wank. <laughs> and I said, excuse me, what is that noise? And he says, bushings all he said. I said, oh, and I, we both laughed. We both shared a good laugh. Ah. Like we each of us, oh, God, the bushings. Yes. Why? <laughs> Wank. And so then the guy says, let me, let me ask you something, uh, Mr. Letterman. Call me Mr. Letterman. Mm -hmm. Cab drivers don't need to call me. They don't need to call me anything. anything. Call me Mr. Letterman. He says, uh, uh, when do you do your show? When do you tape your show? And I said, every afternoon, 5.30 to 6.30. And he said, uh, do you have an audience? I said, yeah, we have an audience every night. We have great audiences. The best audiences in television. <laughs> That's quite a coincidence because he stood up and applauded too. When... <laughs> Very odd. Uh, and, and then he says, uh, he says, so the show is how long? I said, it's an hour, 5.30 to 6.30. And he says, when, when is it on? Uh, I said, well, in, in most parts of the country, 12.30 to 1.30. And he says, did you do a show tonight? And I said, yes, as a matter of fact, we did. And he said, what was tonight's topic? <laughs> he thought I was Ted Koppel or something. Yeah. I don't know. Or Donahue or something. Oh, man, let's do our viewer mail and then begin the holiday show. That'll be fine, and I guess the Christmas tradition that we do every year, we'll do that a little later on. Oh, thank God. Thank See? goodness you mentioned that. See? I'm sorry. See, I'm, I thinking, I'm, that... I'm thinking about the guy in his uh, wanker bush yeah. he's going out. <laughs> his bush wanker was on the blanket. If I hadn't mentioned it, this would have been the saddest Christmas. Oh, thank I'm, I'm so but happy you mentioned that. I would have felt is, like a complete dork. It'll if be you, a uh, happy okay. Christmas. Paul has been doing this every year since the first night we were on the air. That's correct. Or first Christmas that we were correct. on the air. Our all right, Christmas. Paul, explain it to them. All it's right. a Christmas this is tradition. A little That's tradition. All you need to know. This is my impersonation of Cher right. on her Christmas special of, I would say, 17 years ago, right. singing Oh Holy Night. Okay. Now, you have to imagine the setup here is it was an hour long comedy show. Mm -hmm. William Conrad was one of the guests, and they had a lot of laughs, a lot of good fun. But now it was time for Cher to get serious <laughs> and bring the tone down. And she was in a very beautiful Victorian oh. overcoat with a, with a muff. Right. And uh, <laughs> under a street lamp, snow was falling. 
Or the muff in yeah, the eye. That's right, the muff. Yeah. <laughs> the <laughs> biggest laugh of the night yeah. is the word muff. Thank you. I think that means a fur thing that now goes we around. We know your what head. it means. Now, the snow is falling. Yeah. The street lamp is shining on her. Symphony orchestra is playing the vamp. Do, 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 do. And she begins to sing. Do, do. Oh, holy night, we are so brightly shining on and that I never yes, forgot it. Nice, yeah. Thank you very much. I never forgot that. It's Christmas Thank you. tradition. Thank you. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas to everyone. And Merry Christmas to you all. Thank you so much. Oh, man, the little story about the Christmas muff always brings a tear. <laughs> To my eye. <laughs> Absolutely a true. Let's, start. Uh, let's answer our viewer mail so we can go home early. Uh, Here <laughs> we go. It gave us a little insight as to how these guys uh, work. You know, we got, we got to see how they feel about the issues. Uh, I have to tell you something. I think uh, Jerry Brown, former governor of California, <laughs> I, I don't think this guy did himself any good because at the end he just sort of announced that all of the other candidates were bickering like a bunch of spoiled Klingons. And I, I think... <laughs> Stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen, because later in the program, audience members will be shouting out my home address. So please. <laughs> that guy. <laughs> Earlier, I was talking to the audience, and I said, now, anybody have a question? And that guy stands up, and he says, I know Dave's home address. <laughs> and, he, and he just shouted it out. Bunch of us is following him home. <laughs> yeah, we'll look, we'll look for you in the den, sir. Thank you. <laughs> uh, oh, my God, this program's too good to be ours. Is it ours, Bob? Okay, on the show tonight, uh, oh, very talented man, a uh, very funny man. He's the, he's the voice of the kid on the Wonder Years show, also the star of the... Now, this movie made more money than any motion picture ever in the history of motion pictures comedy. Uh, the movie was... He... Home Alone. <laughs> home Alone, and, and uh, they're, they're working on the sequel, Here We Are at Home Again. <laughs> Yeah, I think so. Anyway, uh, Daniel Stern will be joining us in a couple of minutes. Uh, also, oh, now this guy is uh, absolutely the best. Al Michaels from ABC Sports will be joining us tonight. And uh, formerly with the uh, Blasters and also X, we have Dave Alvin here tonight with Paul and the band. Well, I'll say hello to our friend Paul Schaefer is right over there. Thank you very much. David, we're here. Bye. Merry Christmas to you. Mm. Thank you. Mm. You know, it's a warm, Christmassy feeling look here at, in the Look at the, the decorations. We've decorated for the holidays. Isn't it beautiful? Just, Didn't they do a yeah. lovely job? We have wreaths. We have the uh, beautiful old-fashioned uh, Christmas tree. I think it's, I think it's lovely. Puts me in the mind of Christmas. I'll tell you something, though. I'm going to be making a, a sacrifice this Christmas. What are, you, what are you doing? Well, similar to the way you have temporarily, it seems to me anyway, without any announcing or anything, retired the top ten list, at least temporarily. We don't know. We don't know if it's coming back. <laughs> it's mysterious. But I, inspired by that, yeah. I'm going to this year retire my share, does oh holy No, night. you're not. No, you're not. No. No, no you can't. No, no. No, no. No, no. No, he's I don't know what to say. No, I was no, going to no. give it a rest, no, but no, it no, looks no, no. like it, the yeah, public yeah. won't let me. All right, All right here's, here's how we're going to do this. I'm yeah. going to tell a little holiday story. All right. After the little holiday story, then we would like you to do your... Tonight? You yes, want tonight. tonight. We would like to... Well, I'm, I'm overwhelmed by this outpouring of emotion and support. I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to have to come back and do it. This... I know Dave's home address. <laughs> Oh, very good. Thank you, sir. Now, please, please, sit down. Go back through the metal detector and please just sit down. <laughs> here's, here's, here's my little holiday story. Okay. Uh, up there in our office on the 14th floor, it's jam-packed. 
with boxes and gifts and packages and things coming in, things going out. It, it's like an unclaimed freight depot. It's a veritable beehive of holiday activity. I noticed it. So we're, we're sending stuff out, uh, gifts, to various people that, that we know and uh, care about all over the country. And we ran out of the, the regular mailing kind of box. So the, the only box we could get there, they're like those things you get refrigerators in. They're, they're the boxes we're mailing them in is about the size of this desk. <laughs> now, the gift itself is not that big. But this is what we have to send out in because that's the only box available. Huge so box. if you're on our gift list and you see this coming, you think, oh, geez, Dave has mailed us his desk. No, not that's... <laughs> <laughs> so the other boxes, the, the boxes that we want, finally came in today. And so a guy from Shipping and Receiving calls my assistant, Rose, and he says, uh, I got some boxes down here for you. I'm going to bring them right up. And she says, great, bring them right up. So the guy comes up and he's got a hand cart. You know, like you see with the two wheels, and you lean it like that, and you push it around. And there's maybe like three boxes on the hand cart. And now inside the boxes are other boxes. So it's just not that heavy. It's not like it's bulk lead we're dealing with here. So the guy says, where do you want this? See, it's the same guy who <laughs> actually turns out in the audience. That's how, that's <laughs> how he got your guy. address. Yeah. That's right, exactly. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. that's, that's, the that's right. <laughs> so... The guy says, well, where do you want these? And Rose says, well, just bring them back down here. And you can tell, you can sense immediately that he's very tentative. Something is not quite right about this transaction. But he, okay, he pushes it down the hall to the office, and then he kind of levels off the cart, and he says, uh, could you, uh, get somebody else unload these? I'm kind of tired. Ah. <laughs> this is what the guy says. He's an enormous guy. He's half my age. He's a young, strapping guy, but he's kind of tired. He wants somebody else to unload these three boxes off his little handcart. My assistant, Rose, says, out of the way, sissy, and starts grabbing boxes and unloading them just like that. It was... Yes, it was... I, I'd have helped, of course, when I got that uh, neck thing. Yeah. <laughs> a little bone spur or something, yeah, I don't know. Neck thing. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a holiday tradition. He's done this for how many years, Paul? Oh, uh, since we went on the air. Exactly. Go ahead. Take it away, Paul. All right. This Get ready is... for real holiday fun. Well, I don't know about that, but this is from Cher's Christmas special of, I would say, 16 years ago. She'd had a lot of fun. William Conrad was the, was the guest. They clowned around, but now it's time to get her serious, and she was going to do under a beautiful uh, street lamp with the snow falling, her version. She had a muff, as I recall. She was, uh, had her hands in a muff. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And a Victorian overcoat. Audience making up their own shows. <laughs> and she sang, and it was very beautiful, and the piano played. Do, 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 And she sang. Ooh, holy night. Yeah. Lots so rightly shiny on the night. So... Yet another year. I, I had popular demand. I have to bring it back. Very nice. Thank you, Paul. <clears throat> it, it ain't much of a tradition, but it's all we have. <laughs> Paul, will you do me a favor and give us a little holiday dialing music for me, please? All right, I'm going to be placing a call. Hal, Hal, if you will, turn on the external camera. Turn on that external holiday camera. Hal Gurney, Emmy Award-winning director and racing legend, Hal Gurney. Roll Christmas song I really, really enjoy. In your honor, Christmas you baby, much. please come home. Yeah. By the great Darlene Love. Darlene Love. Now, why? Why don't we have her here to sing it live? Is the question I'm. Well, doing. hey, now, maybe it's not too late. <laughs> well, hey, now, you Can almost somebody jumped, get her on the phone. <laughs> you almost jumped right into another song there. Hey, now. 
And, and when will we do your uh, annual uh, impression of uh, Cher? Oh, thank you for remembering. That's a tradition with us. Yeah. We go so far back. Shall I do it? Tonight or... It's got to be tonight or tomorrow night. It's got to be tonight or tomorrow night. It has to be tonight. I'll share with Let me set the scene for you. Okay. It was her Christmas special about 15, 17 years ago. It was a lot of fun. William Conrad was the host, was the guest. They had William lots and Conrad lots of... Conrad was the host? He was the guest. She was the host. Well, then it really must have been fun. And, uh, <laughs> but even after all that fun, it was time to calm things down and do the big Oh Holy Night number at the very end. It was very serious, and the snow was falling. She was under a st street lamp, Victorian overcoat, um, hands inside a muff. Yes, I know. And, uh, <laughs> I can remember there was a time when you couldn't even say the word muff on TV. Uh, uh, it's very odd the way things have changed. come a long it. way. Anyway, the piano was beautifully tinking. And Cher sings. Oh, holy night. Christmas tradition. Nothing if not traditional. Thank you very, Thank very, you. very much. Thank you for Morty, what are we going to do now? Are we going to get someone up here to turn on the tree, or have we forgotten that, and are we going on to something else? It's up to you. You're running. You're flying this uh, boat. Uh, you do what? You prefer doing the top ten. Okay, so that means tonight's show, if you're grading tonight's show at home, you have to give us an incomplete. <laughs> Geez, it's kind of lonely in here with that tree all dark and unlighted. Yeah, when, when would we light it? When we... Ma'am, you there in the orange jacket. Come here. Do you mind? You, right there. Come here. Yes, you. Come here. Come here. Get ready, boys. What's your name? name's Donna. Donna? It's Donna, ladies and gentlemen. Here, Donna, step right over there. You see this? Just plug that in. There you go. Donna, ladies and gentlemen, will now light the late night Christmas tree. She had the most unpleasant attitude I've seen <laughs> at, at, at any tree lighting ever. It's Christmas. It was sort of like, no. <laughs> Thank you very much, Donna. Thank you. My, what a lovely kitty. Stop it. All right, all right. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> this show's taking kind of an ugly turn. Uh, this time of year. Never here, let's... Now, what do we do now, Bob? Mr. Big Shot Producer, do what? <laughs> now we do the top ten list. All right. Here you oh, stop it. Hey.
Hotel accommodations for most guests of Late Night with David Letterman were furnished by Berkshire Place, an Omni Classic Hotel, in exchange for this announcement. For reservations at Omni Hotels in the U.S. and Europe, call toll-free 800-228-2121. Yeah. It's a valuable lesson, I think. It's the kind of thing that will serve them well in life later. Uh, okay, we're, uh, we're just about done, and uh, be, I, <laughs> I guess we are done. Uh, I want to thank all of my guests tonight, Brother Theodore, of course, Pat Boone. Pat, uh, thank you very much for being here. Uh, I want to thank my lovely wife, uh, Audrey Daniels Letterman. And, uh, gee, I'm sorry we didn't have time for your song. Oh, yeah. Yeah, maybe next year. And uh, also my thanks to the, uh, the Doodletown Pipers. You folks were just terrific. Thank you very much. It wouldn't be Christmas without the Doodletown Pipers, would it? Also, uh, my thanks to all of the kids, of course, Hank, Terry, Melissa, and little Kyle for doing such a wonderful job. My thanks to Bill Wendell, our uh, announcer, of course, uh, Paul Schaefer, our musical director, and all of the folks in the band. Tomorrow night on this program, Michael Keaton will be here, and uh, glass player Gloria Parker, uh, viewer male comedian George Wallace, and uh, are you all right, Daryl? I'm fine, David. Okay. Very, Merry Christmas. Uh, Merry Christmas to you. And, and before we go, if we get... If we could just take a shot of the guy loading the fireplace, I think nothing says Christmas to me. <laughs> so there you are. <laughs> Try to get one of those for your home real soon. Thank you very much, everybody. Have a good holiday. Thank you.